Hello guys and welcome back to Imperian Galactic Survival Tutorials. My name is Rakuna. And I'm Bart. Today we're going to be talking about drilling. <laughs> drilling what? Uh, dr drilling holes. <laughs> Can you be a little bit more specific? Uh, drilling ores. Uh, I got nothing for that. Jeez, uh, Bart. So we're going to be talking about the different tools that we can have during the game used for drilling ores, or basically just drilling holes. <laughs> Shut up, Bart. So the first tool you're going to have at hand is a survival tool. If you right click, you'll have these different modes here that you can have access to. The one you want is resource mode. So with this, you'll be able to drill holes or even some of the little bearings that you can find on the planet. Now, this is pretty much the slowest way of drilling. And also the range is limited to five meters. The next tool you'll have in game is the normal drill. This one has a range of seven meters, and the first thing you could do with that is drill a hole, take your survival tool, put it in a hole, and then you can just freaking bury it, never to be seen again. Bye bye survival tool. So as you can see, while right clicking, you have different options. You got resource drill, which is the default option when you drill. You got fine drill, which is pretty much the same as drilling, except it's meant for more precise drilling. As you can see, it doesn't do big holes like the other option. As you can see in the description here, it says remove terrain in smaller radius and the resource drill. Will not extract ore, but instead destroy deposits and stones ore content. The other option you have here is filler. With this, you can pretty much fill holes and you can make like an ugly ass mountain, I, I guess. The last option here is flattening. With this, you can flatten the terrain as such. As you can see here, I flattened the terrain and now there's a big chunk of rock just floating in the air, defying gravity. Uh, let's, let's look away. Apparently the Talon decided to pay us a visit. Hey guys, how's it going? Eventually, one day, you'll find the Epic Drill, which is pretty much the best handheld drill that there is out there. It has same options, except this one has a range of 9 meters and collects resources a lot faster. There you go. Oh, Rakuna, that is thrilling. Yeah, I know, I I'm just about to get to the HVs. Eventually, you'll be able to bring in an HV. This one's got a couple of drills on it. It's going to be a hell of a lot more efficient to collect resources. Now, to be able to collect the resources, you need a container controller for ore and wood. Above your toolbar, you got a percentage to see how much the container is filled. As you can see, drilling is a lot faster and you'll be able to collect a lot more resources at a higher speed. As I'm collecting resources, you can see your harvest controller filling up. Another tool that you can have for drilling is the drill turret, which you must access via your control panel by pressing P. In the devices, if everything is auto-grouped, it should be under the harvest tab. Press here to access and then you can pretty much start drilling as such. Now, if you have this drill installed on the side there pointing down, you'll be able to drill straight down all the way to the resource. And this drill has a range of 50 meters, so you'll be able to get pretty far with that. And the next best thing for an HV are the drill modules tier two. They are like the other drills tier one, but they drill a lot faster and they can go farther. So it gives you more reach. And at the same time, you'll be able to collect resources a lot faster. Now, yeah, I know, overload. I didn't put enough generators to support these laser drills on that puppy. That sounds really fun, Rakuna. Can I drive one? No. Okay then, so are you going to talk about the small vessels now? Uh, I'm getting to that. Over here, I brought in the Merv. It's a small little compact ship, and it goes quite well. Unlike the HV, the only thing that the MERV can have are the Tier 2 drill modules. They go pretty much the same speed and they have the same range. The only thing is with this little puppy, you'll be able to also collect some resources out in space. I mean, you could do it with the HV, except you're going to be moving at a whopping 3 meters per second and it's not super fast. Yeah, see that little puppy go. I gotta tell you, it's a lot more easier collecting a lot of resources in space than it is on the ground. The next best thing would be having a CV. If we go in the pilot seat, first of all, I'm going to show you the drill turret. Again, you go in your devices, go select drill turret and access. Now, this one has a range of 150 meter and will drill extremely fast, collecting a huge radius of ores. Again, be sure to have a container controller installed on your vessel. 
And alas, the fastest way to collect and the best tool to use is the drill modules for CVs. Now, this puppy has nine installed on it, so it's going to be collecting super fast. It's going to be able to drill through this freaking asteroid in a matter of seconds. I'm starting to think that the drill turret was going a little bit faster. At least with this, you'll be able to continue drilling while moving your ship around. You can't do that while you're inside the turret. Now, of course, when playing Empyrean, you're going to need a lot and a lot of of resources, a lot of ores, and you'll be able to convert into ingots or powder or whatever the hell you'll need with it. So it's good to have a reliable CV that can do the job quickly. Hey Raccoon, are you just gonna leave that big rock in the air floating like that? It, it's kind of breaking my brain. Uh, I, I'm gonna leave it there just for you, <laughs> Bart. Okay then, is there another thing you want to mention before we finish this? Yeah, of course. Have a lot of drill charges. Uh, that's what your handheld drills are going to need to reload. So guys, thank you very much for joining me on this episode of Empyrean Tutorials. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll be sure to get back to you. So till next time, take care and stay safe. Rakuna out.